I've been talking about this before this was a cool idea, and I'm glad it is a cool idea now, but I think it is a justified use of military force, legally justified under military, under, under military norms and international law, to use our cartels to annihilate, to use our military to annihilate the Mexican drug cartels. And I think you, you make a call to Mexico, the president of Mexico in January 2025, say, you know what, you're in the cartel's pocket, you're, they're your sugar daddy, there's a new daddy in town, we're going to help you. We're going to help you do this for a fraction, by the way, a tiny fraction of what we spent in Ukraine. We're going to help you do this. But if you don't do it, we're going to come in and do it for you. Go bin Laden on them. Go Soleimani on them. We can actually do this. The NSA has focused on the Middle East. Actually, I've been talking to you know, intelligence experts for the last number of months on this. There's no real investment of U.S. even intelligence operations in Mexico. That needs to change because this is actually what's responsible for deaths on American soil. 100,000 fentanyl-related deaths, a homelessness epidemic in this country driven by Chinese-manufactured fentanyl that they view as their weapon in a modern opium war. We need to fix it. And you know what? If you can use the military to protect somebody else's border somewhere else, you better darn well be willing to use it to protect it here. I don't just say build the wall. Build the wall is not enough at this point. You need to build the wall and actually secure it with the U.S. military to protect our border and, if necessary, even use it to annihilate the cartels using drones, airstrikes, spe targeted special force operations. And you know what? The defense establishment, for whatever reason, doesn't love this. It's uncouth to say it. But you know what? If I believe that we have a system in this country where the people we elect to run the government, including the U.S. president, ought to be the people who actually run the government, not an unelected bureaucratic class. It's a beautiful thing we have an elected commander-in-chief in this country, and I'm running to be a commander-in-chief that actually delivers on this. It'll be something I do in the first six months. And I think that the fact that I'm not copycatting somebody else says to you that I'm serious about this and we'll see this through.